Yeah, it is uh, Thursday and the city council is meeting today. Today they're making uh, several big decisions that could shape the future of downtown Austin. KXA and city reporter Reagan Hackleman joins us live from City Hall with more on the downtown Austin plan. Reagan, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, Shannon. Once that plan is approved by the city council, which is expected to have happen sometime this afternoon, it will basically guide growth in the downtown area for the next 10 years. Now, the city has been working on this plan for five years, and they are expected to take that final vote sometime this afternoon. The plan basically lays out seven transformative steps to help guide growth in downtown Austin. Those steps include a bigger focus on downtown open space and parks, more specifically, improving the parks on the east side of downtown. Another step includes building the first phase of urban rail to help connect downtown to the Capitol complex, to the University of Texas, and other areas of Austin. The plan also focuses on revitalizing 6th Street and trying to make it more than just a street for late night partiers. And the plan calls for establishing permanent affordable housing for those who are dealing with substance abuse problems and homelessness. Now, the plan also has 100 specific items in it for the nine districts of downtown. Now, the reason the city is focusing on the downtown plan is simple. The tax money collected from downtown development pays for about 80% of city services outside of the downtown area. The price for everything in this plan over the next 10 years, 250 to 350 million dollars. Now also on the council's agenda today, renaming the Town Lake Hike and Bike Trail. The council will be renaming the trail after former Austin Mayor Roy Butler and his wife Ann. The Butlers were instrumental in turning the trail into how we know it today. Mrs. Butler is expected to be in the city council chambers for the vote today, which is scheduled for two o'clock. And the council has already voted this morning to begin work on the final stage of the Lance Armstrong bikeway. The first two stages are already complete. This last stage would basically extend the bikeway from East Fifth Street to the bridge on airport that runs over the Colorado River. The final segment should be complete sometime next summer. And another item the council has already voted on is setting aside $300,000 for outside lawyers to help represent the city in a lawsuit filed by Byron Carter by the family of Byron Carter. Byron Carter was shot and killed by an Austin police officer on May 31st of this year. Austin police say he was the passenger in a car that was trying to run over an Austin police officer. Reporting live from City Hall, Reagan Hackleman, KXAN News.